Sean Sport in podcast form. The one-day series between Australia and India wrapped up yet yeah, last night, actually. Uh, I was watching um, Mitch Marsh bat because he opened the batting again, yes. 47, which meant that Dave Warner, who hadn't played all series, came in in the middle order. And he failed anyway. Yeah. So Dave Warner, I think. Up, I think. Yeah. I think it's time for the change of the guard. The good thing about the game was, apart from Australia winning, uh, Siri Kumar Yadev got his third golden duck in a row. Nathan, oh. you know what a golden duck is? A golden duck is when the ball is coming at your head, <laughs> <laughs> and, you duck. and then you duck. Close. I know a golden duck. Not right? even go- close. Okay, a golden duck. So no, it's not a century. No, no. A no. golden duck means a. That means something, a, someone's out. A duck means so, you're out for zero. So right? okay. So, so a, golden a golden duck, duck? means. Well, I mean, yep. you're out for zero. Yes. So I don't know if we've got time, but it means that you face one delivery only. Yeah. So you're so out you can, first ball. You can face multiple deliveries and not make a run. That's not. That's just that's a duck. duck. But if you face the only, the very first delivery, and you get out. Which this guy so did if you're three out on times none, in a row. Duck. Yes. Yeah. But if you're out on one, it's a golden. No, duck. no. If you're, if you're out, out on the out first ball, first delivery. So you only ball. face one ball. Do you know what a diamond duck is? It's ten. That's when you get out without facing a ball. Okay. So, so diamond duck, no ball. Uh, golden duck, one ball. Yes. And the ducks just could be zero, multiple but balls. many could balls. Could be multiple balls. Could be. But no runs. Oh, we're learning today, aren't we? Well done. Are we? I don't know. I reckon we can ask you in five minutes and you won't know. If you've got some time today, get down and support WA. Begin yes. at the WAC at 10am this morning. They're up against Victoria. Of course, the Vicos knocked us off just last week in the Sheffield Shield game. But we've got some big guns out and we hope to send Sean Marsh out on a top. Yeah, that'll be that'll our be sixth great. domestic title in a row. Mm. Amazing yeah. stuff, that is. Yeah. Tottenham and West Ham are coming to Optus Stadium mid-July. I think it's the 15th. Oh, and our Amy, Amy, our producer Amy, is a Tottenham Spurs supporter. Yep. And I want to ask you, Amy, have you always been a Tottenham supporter? Because we know Alex, your husband, is the biggest Tottenham well, supporter. Was that yeah, something so that came was... with Alex? No, yes, and you didn't. had to. She yes, had to. He I didn't. I was travelling in the UK at a pub by myself, sitting there watching... Uh, the EPL yeah. on the TV, as you do. Yeah, when just trying to pick up a fellow. I did, just and I actually did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Arsenal and Tottenham were playing. Yes. And uh, my father follows Arch Arsenal. Rivals. And I was yeah. like, oh, I can't go for them. Yeah. I'm going to go for the uh, the white team, whoever they are. Yep. That was Spurs. And that right. was it. And then that was it. So I followed them from that day since. Then I met Alex. Yep. As then, a match made in heaven. Then, so did you boom. pick up a fellow that night? I picked up a number. A number. A number, Did you call a the number, number of fellas. No, I was travelling. I don't care. Oh. That's why you do call the number. Anywho. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> just a, just a, sl- just a slew of body, bodies no. across yeah, the world. I was about to pay for a hostel that night. One and only. <laughs> oh, were you? Yeah. Okay. That's what Sean did. She was chased. Uh, you were yes, waiting, weren't you, Sean? It is, actually. Yes, still. Uh, so <laughs> Tottenham and West Ham are going to play each other. Perth Glory will play West Ham. Oh, I mean, who's going to go? Perth that Glory's playing West Ham. Uh, yes, so it's a, a bit of a three-man weave type of situation yes. there. But you'll be able to see top-level um, EPL men play, and then a week later, the FIFA World Cup starts here. So you will be able to see. I think it's Denmark playing Australia first yeah, up awesome. over here at yeah. the Stadium. Yeah. That'll be and a that's ripper. about the twenty-second of July. But How good's that? Are we getting the good players? Good question. Because we always they, say, they always say that we are, and then suddenly. Oh, do you mean from West Ham? And yeah, I'm Spurs. just saying. No, no, yeah. good point, Nath. Yeah. yeah, good point. Yeah, in the, the World Cup, in the World Cup, yes. absolutely. Because it is their break time. Okay, so we okay, yeah. we will be getting the good players. And finally, you might have said on the news too that Owen Wright, um, he retired from world surfing. His brother Mickey and his sister Tyler Wright, who's a world champion, yeah. all Australian top level what a family. athletes. What a great family. Because he took a massive wipeout in yeah. 2015, I think mm. it was at Pipeline, and it KO'd him. He had to learn how to walk. And talk so again. Wow. Concussion. Again. Massive concussion. It spans the sports, doesn't it? Yeah, so he's been competing at the top level over the last couple of years, getting back onto it, but now he's got to the point where he just thinks about his health too much. And you yep. really, you know, at all those sports, you've got to throw your, yourself out there. Yeah. And um, your, yeah, you your mind you and body be, comes second. You can't second. be held back. Yeah. No, you can't yeah. be held back. So, yep. God, it's always a great day when Jeremy McGovern comes into the studio. Isn't We're it, looking it's forward such to that a today. Real, mm. I, I love looking at him mm. and um, giving him a hug and then feeling how fit he is. That's yeah, right. so something's gone awry. Then seeing what fashion he's wearing. Gov. Governor, what's happening? How are we? Um, apologies, guys. I was actually looking forward to coming in as well and seeing you, but oh. um, mm. well, I had a little doo doo this morning with my uh, with my schedule. So you've got me on the phone, unfortunately. Mm. Mm. 
Oh, oh. Well, that's enough with Gov. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> Gov, it was a tough watch for West Coast supporters on uh, Saturday just Especially gone. Especially the first half. Yeah, and then all, all of a sudden, I don't know, we mentioned earlier on, obviously people on the East Coast were chipping in at you, particularly Gary and Lyon, but you've gone down by five points. Like You could yeah, have won it, it a with a minute more back. to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, uh, everyone's got a job to do, Sean, and yeah. um, I guess everyone in the media is doing their, their, their part and that sort of stuff. But, um, yeah, no, it was, it was a little bit frustrating, obviously, losing, but um, the second half was, was a lot better and uh, we played some pretty good footy, but at the end of the day, we lost. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it is hard to... Uh, to to cop a loss, but um, we saw a lot of positive signs. On that, on, on the positive signs here, um, so you, West Coast, I'm just reading in the paper this, have lost 28 of the last 32 games. That's mm. pretty significant. How do you keep your head up? Yeah, I, it, it is a challenge, um, for sure. Obviously, last year was um, was diabolical. It was, a, yeah. it was a real tough one with, for a lot of different circumstances, but um, yeah, well, that's, that's a challenge, I guess, as a leadership group, as a club. Um, as individuals, is, is trying to stay positive um, and, and take whatever we can out of most weeks, and most games. But I feel like we've done pretty well as a club and, and try to stick fat and um, and keep moving in the right direction, which I, which I feel we are. As much as we lost on the weekend, I feel like we are heading in the right direction. That's probably what the most frustrating thing is for us as players. We know how hard we've been working um, and what we've been working on. Um, and unfortunately, on the weekend, we didn't get to fully see it. So I'm um, hoping we can do it this weekend. I suppose it's just um, you've got to be uh, like positive. You know, like yeah. it's, it's like when we're so exhausted by the end of the year and you just like want to be miserable at work. You've just got to. But <laughs> you, do. you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. Like, you know, like, like be up and about <laughs> and like make yourself positive and, and like, you know, like just try and get to, rid of that. To, to add to what you're saying, Nathan, you do. And the other thing is like, happens to us is you, you front up the next day. Yeah, you've right. got to be on it. You, yes, you've you got to be on. on. So yeah. you've got to keep yeah. moving. There's no licking your wounds. Um, hey, yeah. Gov, I don't know if you heard, um, but um, Ali has got a pair of Crocs now, at all because of you. I, I have heard. <laughs> I have heard uh, along the grapevine um, that, that there is some Crocs flying around Nova Studio. Yeah, yeah. you're an inspiration, um, Gov. Wow. It was only a matter of time, to be honest, and... Mm. Uh, there might only be one pair at the moment, but I feel like there's going to be a few extra pairs in the in the coming weeks and on, if if not days. Well, how many more times so, can um, we say Crocs without them lobbing here at the bloody doorstep? I would have thought. Yeah, look, let's just keep saying it until they yeah. keep coming, and yeah. Um, yeah. I'll send through my sizes and, yeah. and colours and well, stuff we, as well. We, so. we do know we, we do know our friends at the B store mm. that they have um, yeah, Crocs to sell yeah. there as long where, as where Birkenstocks. Stocks. The B store it's the only place to buy my footwear. Did you say B store? The B store is <laughs> an amazing B-Store. place, and um, and just like the prices are great, and the people there work there are wonderful. Yes, um, but <laughs> and the range, oh the range, oh the, ra- the range. Now Lee is second to none. Um, from Doc Martens to B. Anyway, um, so anyway, um, uh, so. Gov, have you come across, you know, the gibbets, the little things you stick in the holes? Yeah, I have seen them. Um, what, is there a West Coast Eagles gibbet out there? Does that oh, exist I would think yet? So. It has, look, to, be. It has you'd, to be. You'd like to think so. Um, would you wear I'm, I'm them? Not a, look, I'm not a gibbet man. Mm. <laughs> if oh, they're called a gibbet, gibbet. Um, West Coast. No, I'm. I'm. A, I'm. I like to keep them just plain and simple. Just pure. To be honest, but yeah. um, I think they're just just as beautiful as they are. Oh wait okay. there, West, okay. wait there. West Coast Eagles gibbets. There are West Coast Eagles gibbets. Many. Oh Look yeah, at them. there oh, we go. Many. Um, there. What and a way range. to show your support. Like fifteen dollars. There's twenty five dollars. Whoa, these ones must be good. They're a hundred and nine dollars. Oh, that's what? for a set of six. <laughs> It's a That's lot. Right, which, which, involve, which includes a Premiership Cup, Natalie. Oh, a yeah. Premiership Cup gibbet. I mean, great. We wouldn't be able to find that for the Dockers, would we? <laughs> oh, okay, we'll have our time. Wonder, just just wonder, remember who's up the... No, much, we're right down the bottom. How much the <laughs> Fremantle Dockers gibbets are. Um, Fremantle. You talk amongst so yourself. So, anywho, okay, Greater Western Sydney this weekend. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a challenge. Although yep. that they've lost three, they're great. Yeah. Uh, well, two in particular, their prime ball movements. You're still coming up against Toby Green. He'll be running around yeah. next near you, mate. And uh, also yep. Tom Green had 37 touches on the weekend in the guts. Yeah, that they're an extremely talented side. Um, even with with a couple of their key players out, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll have our hands full for sure. But um, I'm looking forward to uh, to playing at Optus in front of our yeah. our fans for the first time this year, which is going to be great. Hopefully, the turf's um, up to scratch. And um, but yeah, it's going to be a challenge. Each week's each week's a challenge, no matter who you're playing. So um, 
no different this week for us. But, um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. And hopefully we can replicate that second half throughout the full game yeah. uh, this week. Now, Gov, what about you leaving training abruptly and lightly touching <laughs> oh, the, the back on, of your leg Gav, as you did on. that? Um, would you like to explain to everybody what you were up to? Oh, if you ask the West, they know everything. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you ask the West, your leg fell off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I just, um, I was just getting managed. So I did ninety-five percent of training. I've come yeah. out of the last drill. So, um, no, there's nothing in it at all. I, you I scratched my leg and I've done my hammy. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah no, I'm 100 percent playing. Yeah. yeah. God, it's, it's no, been amazing you know lately. It, it wasn't. It was, it was leaning down because the, the, the gibbets fell out of his crocs <laughs> and he was just trying to find them on the lawn. Hey, Simone, can you give us a hand here? <laughs> it's, it's been pretty full on. Oh. It, the footy oh, and, and, and the not, not just footy, is but, ridiculous. But, but everything, you know. Yeah. You know, the, the Premier yeah. Yeah. to the Prime Minister, yeah. they scratch their head or something. Oh, they're panicking yeah. because, you know, spent Yeah, everything's million. a little bit inflated at the moment, yeah. the economy and the, uh, and, and the media. So, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, not, look, not it, it, is, it is what it is. Um, I'm definitely playing though, so um, good man. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, I'll be out there on the weekend for sure. Right, we can get along to Optus Stadium and check out the West Coast Eagles on Sunday against the GWS Giants. Hopefully, you can get back on the winners list. You've been playing well anyway, Gov. You put in a good performance on the weekend. Hopefully, you can keep it going, my friend. Yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate, it. and I'll uh, I'll hopefully see you next week in me Crocs. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, can't wait. Gibbets free. Gibbets free. <laughs> Gibbets free. <laughs> no, Gibbets free. He's a purist. Yes. 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 Good on you, Gov. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.